about to show you an ad from a super PAC attacking former FBI Director James Comey. It's being released today, timed to Comey's Senate testimony. Watch this. As head of the FBI, James Comey put politics over protecting America. After the FBI banned terms like radical Islam for political correctness, Comey allowed the dangerous practice to continue. When terror attacks were on the rise last year, Comey was consumed with election meddling, and after he testified before the U.S. Senate, Comey's own staff admitted some of his answers were flat out wrong. James Comey, just another D.C. insider, only in it for himself. Paid for by Great America Alliance. Okay, the creators of that ad wanted CNN to run it as a commercial without discussion. But we thought it better to invite the people behind the ad onto New Day to talk about it. So I want to ask you about what you say the facts are, because we did some fact checking of your ad, your commercial. And so let's just talk about that, because one of the things that you claim in the commercial, you say terror attacks surged 650 percent last year worldwide under James. Well, no, you don't actually say worldwide. You say that they surged last year. You don't mention that that figure is worldwide. And somehow you seem to suggest that that was James Comey's fault. How is James Comey responsible for a terror attack in Nigeria? No, again, this is an attack on James Comey's uh, character. This is talking about he was worried more about the election than as his record as FBI director. And, you know, the narrative that the media seems to be able to point out is that he was fired so that, you know, Trump can, you know, save himself. And that's not the reality. Uh -huh. uh, Donald Trump, uh, President Trump fired James Comey because he felt as in his tenure. And by the way, many Democrats called for his firing. Sure, prior I remember. But, but just about well. on this fact, in your, in your, or this so called fact, in your commercial, do you think it's misleading James Comey, to say James that Comey terror attacks a, surged 650% under James Comey? They did, uh, you know. Worldwide. Prior to James Comey, well, prior to James Comey, you know, there was there was a culture in the FBI that said, hey, we're not going to use certain words, radical Islamic terrorism. Mm -hmm. That's something that Donald Trump said during the campaign. That is something that got uh, carried out uh, throughout uh, Mr. Comey's uh, three yeah. and a half years. I know, that started uh, under Robert Mueller. And so that, we that was something to... that we believe. Sure, but. Uh, Absolutely, but yes, and we, and we made our... that clear, and we made that clear in the ad. Understood. But here, just here's this the point, Allison. No, 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 the, hold on, Eric. I just want to hear the, the point, answer to this. Go ahead. Do you think that James Comey is responsible for terror worldwide? And the 650%. We, of course not. Okay, so of, the, what of happened in Pakistan but, but, and Nigeria, no, even though that's what you're implying in your ad. No, but, but the FBI has a role in uh, reducing and uh, hopefully eliminating uh, uh, domestic terrorism. One of the ways in which they were able to do that, and there is a record under James Comey on what that is, our point of the ad is to demonstrate that he may have been more concerned about the political process okay. than he was as his record as FBI. 